Of all the foods that are harmful to health, perhaps the very worst of all is cheese. New at 6, a surprising health alert tonight. Quite surprising. A group of doctors says uh, something most of us keep in our refrigerator regularly may actually lead to breast cancer. And uh, the story is almost unbelievable considering how many people enjoy dairy products. But this is disturbing health news, especially for all of the cheese lovers out there. More than 12,000 doctors now across the country are calling on the FDA to put a cancer warning label on all cheese products. Dr. Deborah Wilson with the Feathers Foundation and Circle L Ranch is sounding the alarm. The alarm is about the risk of eating particularly cheese. She's one of 12,000 doctors trying to get the FDA's attention when it comes to cheese products. That is associated with higher risk of not only getting breast cancer, but dying of breast cancer if you have breast cancer. Is particularly American cheese, cheddar cheese, and cream cheese. I wouldn't eat it. Breast cancer remains one of the leading causes of death in women, and now we're learning that this may play a role in that. This Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a group of more than 12,000 doctors is sounding the alarm about a new risk. This is a concern for every woman, not just someone who's had a diagnosis. That concern? Cheese. Doctors say the high-fat dairy product contains high levels of estrogen, which research shows can lead to increased risk of both diagnosis and death from breast cancer. One study showing women who consumed the most cheese had a 53% higher risk of getting the disease. That's why the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine is urging the FDA to put cancer warning labels like this on cheese. There's enough evidence here to ask or suggest that women should go ahead and pass on the cheese. The committee issued this petition to the FDA on October 3rd. No response so far, though it has generally opposed adding warning labels to foods and drinks. Crosby, however, is optimistic about the plea, hoping it will require manufacturers to do more to promote breast cancer awareness than just slap a pink ribbon on products. Which makes it look like these foods might be beneficial for breast cancer, or at the very least not harmful, when really it appears that the opposite is true. It just sends my blood pressure up a little bit. Cheese is very high in calories. It's very high in fat, 70% fat, seven zero. And most of that fat is in the form called saturated fat. That's the fat that raises your cholesterol and is linked to Alzheimer's disease. You know, cheese is, I mean, cheese averages 60 to 70% fat. When you take, you know, two gallons of milk and concentrate it, concentrate it down to a pound of cheese, you got all of those morphine-like reward compounds concentrated in that cheese. And yeah, when people eat it, they're like, mmm, this is awesome. It's a perversion of what nature intended and, and is making people eat this artery clogging um, uh, sort of uh, disease causing stuff. When an adult human ingests something that starts to make our cells want to try and grow, our cells really can't grow. But what they can do is become tumors. And some of those tumors can end up being cancerous. And that's one of the reasons that you see that dairy foods are associated with cancer growth. Cheese seems to be addicting. People get hooked on cheese and they want it every day. And because it's high in calories and fat, they gain weight. Because it's high in cholesterol as well as the bad fat, their cholesterol levels go up. And it's high in sodium too so their blood pressure gets worse. And studies have shown that people that eat dairy foods on a regular basis have higher levels of a hormone called IGF, insulin-like growth factor. And insulin-like growth factor is a known cancer promoter. There's nothing about having excess hormones in the body that benefits the body. If anything, it, it just it overtaxes the organs and, as I said, over the long haul, will lead to disease. Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Barnard. I've got three facts about cheese that you need to know about. The first is, you know if somebody hasn't washed their feet in a good long time, you don't want to sit too near them, that's because brevi bacteria on their skin are producing these smelly compounds. Well, those very same bacteria 
are used to produce Munster and Limburger and other stinky cheeses. Breve bacteria, stinky feet, stinky cheese. Second thing, bacteria in your digestive tract make something called butyric acid. And bacteria used to produce cheeses make the very same butyric acid. So if you ever thought Parmesan smells a little like vomit, it's because it's exactly the same thing. Fact number three, if you got on a plane and went to Sardinia, off the coast of, of Italy, there's a cheese called Pecorino and local aficionados allow flies to lay their eggs in the Pecorino and it starts, as the maggots hatch, they start to digest the cheese, creating this massive glop called Kazu Marzu, and the maggots can actually jump. So you spread it very quickly on some flatbread and you put a card under your nose as you shove the kazu marzu into your mouth, hoping not to get struck by a leaping maggot. Pretty, isn't it? The dietary guidelines need to be changed so that the dairy recommendation is removed entirely. As I said, dairy is not a food, it's a material. And, you know, you can choose to do it, but you don't have to. And because of the health consequences, you shouldn't. So if you're thinking about which foods should I break free from, number one on the list ought to be cheese.